so this is going to be a Taurus Sun uh, Moon and as well rising a uh, weekly love and relationship tarot reading for December 30th to um, January 5th 2020 and um, if you want to get in touch with me guys you can check out the description down below in which you are going to find a, a link to my website and there you're going to find um, all the services I'm providing for a personal reading and as well the contact form through which you can get in touch with me. So that being said, moving into the spread now, the first card which stands as a topic of your love and relationship life, that is going to be the, the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the next one here which represents the energies that are supporting the topic, we do have the Knights of Pentacles, Followed by the third card here, which stands as the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the seven of pentacles. We already have three pentacle cards. So we're talking about a week of trust here. And the next one is going to be uh, the gifts and the blessings that uh, this week is going to present you with. That is going to be the ten of wands. Followed by the next one it is how people are going to see you that is going to be the devil, how your friends and family are going to see you, uh, how your person of interest is going to see you, how your partner, lover is going to see you, that is going to be the devil card. Followed by the sixth one here, which is what you can do in order to uh, help your long-term love and relationship goal, that is going to be the sun card. Followed by the uh, seventh one, which stands as what uh, is going to hurt your long-term uh, love and relationship goal. That will be the Ten of Pentacles. And the last card here, which is uh, the uh, guidance that Taro is offering to you, uh, a, um, Taurus, that will be uh, the Five of Cups. All right. So, uh, Quite of a uh, good week for you guys. Now we do have these two and they are a confirmation that you have done the right thing recently in regards to your love and relationship. You have done the right choice. You have uh, associated yourself with the right person. You are loving the right person, all right? Or you are about to do the right thing. Now those two cards are, po are pointing that uh, your goal in regards to love and relationship, to be loved, to improve your relationship, to make the things happen or whatever. It is the right goal of yours. And you very well will kind of like be convinced in it, if you will. And that will boost the determination behind your actions, which is going to increase the trust that your person of interest has towards you, that your uh, partner has towards you. So if your partner, for example, had a second guess, are you faithful or not, they will have no guesses anymore. It doesn't matter if you are faithful or not, it's just they are going to be convinced that you are faithful, okay? Uh, important thing as well here to be acknowledged, it is that this week you are gonna have that the amplified um, urge to spend more and more time with your beloved one uh, alone, okay? Preferably amongst nature. Now, all these things mixed together are going to help you achieve flawlessly harmoni harmonious type of relationship, or in other words, is gonna help you further your goal in terms of uh, love and relationship, right? It's going, it's going to help you further your attempts or um, the results of your attempts to be with someone. It's going to uh, further your attempts to improve your relationship and etc. etc. So you can expect huge improvement in regards to love and relationship throughout this week. And uh, it's going to be built once again on trust, which is the most solid foundation the one um, unfolding love or one relationship can have. Now, the other card here, it is uh, the um, challenges that you will have to stand against. And this is the second guesses, not about your partner, but your second guesses. And I'm talking about the second guesses of, am I not 
giving way too much right now. I mean, am I not the fool in it? Okay, am I not the jester here who everybody is taking advantage of? And you will, um, the kind of like the challenge is going to be for you to kind of like convince yourself, if you will, or uh, be in tune with yourself. Okay, it's, it's, it's like being in your own personal skin. That is something we have into our country as an expression that you're not feeling um, played for everything you do for the, your person of interest or to catch such person of interest or towards your partner as well. So it's kind of like not, yeah, that, that is going to be the challenge. The challenge is to find the right measures of performance in order in order not to feel um that you are over killing it but I, I don't know how to explain it you know you're feeling so bad when you are constantly the one who gets in touch you're feeling bad when you're constantly only the one who do something to improve things so this is the thing you need to overcome to find here the right measures another thing is uh, as a challenge is not to presume as well now there may be things you don't like throughout the week and there is a, a simple explanation for those things and you just need to wait a little bit so you can see those um, decisive I don't know, circumstances appearing and then you see, ah, so it's, it is not the worst thing that I have anticipated, but it is something rather very, um, very simple. So the other card here, it is about the gifts and the blessings. And we do have the Ten of Wands and you're gonna have it the way you want it. It's that, that's the simple gift and the blessing. I mean, the rules or rather like the expectations you do have, they are to be fulfilled to their full extent. I don't know if that's a gift or a blessing. To, uh, that's a gift and blessing or a, a curse, to be honest, because sometimes it happens so that we get what we want, so we find out that it is not what we have wanted. Well, um, as a follow-up, it doesn't look like that is going to be that way, but you just need to know that uh, the fulfillment of your expectations are, go are going to carry on a certain consequences and you have to face those consequences. Nonetheless, uh, as a, a very positive position, the Ten of Wands here points that you are also going to have an opening for a... Uh, awesome endeavor to be, uh, how can I say it, to be manifested throughout the week that is going to improve even further the states of your current interaction or a relationship. Now, the other card, it is how people see you, how those of your interest are seeing you. And we do have the devil and oh my God. Now, they are seeing you as I don't know how to explain it even with that kind of a uh, radi radiating presence of of magnificent. Okay, uh, it's it's like they are seeing you as a person who calls the shot. They are seeing you as a person who alters outcome. They are seeing you as a person of a position of power, and um, above everything else, they are seeing you as a, someone who gets what they want. Um, you know, that is a um, sentence of the third horseman of the apocalypse. It says, whatever I need, I will take. And this is how they see you. Whatever you need, one way or another, you are getting. Now, how do you getting it? This is the part where people do not see, you know, it may be through sacrifice, it may be through a hard work, but the point is that people see only, you know, the end result, that whatever you want, you are getting. Okay, and that could create rather uh, envious people into your environment, but as well um, are giving is giving a clear sign to those who wants to be with you that is either going to be your way or is not going to be any way at all. So the other card, it is what you can do in order to further your long term goal, or rather like to help your long term goal in regards to love and relationship. Now we do have the Sun card and um, the Sun card says that right now you are uh, stepping on a soil that has a, a tremendous potential to grow. You do have those expanding energies of, uh, of growth in terms of love. So if there is a, a just a flirting or a sparks 
in between you and someone that can transform into a, such a beautiful relationship and love okay and you ha have to allow those um those expanding energies of growing love to unfold but naturally okay do not force it that's very very important here additionally to that you need to show interest that is also very important whatever whomever interests you you have to approach that person and kind of start talking with them in case you are uh, single but above everything else here with the sun card do not be warmongering okay it's like you get what you need through kindness not through uh not through war that is the important part of uh of the sun card and additionally do not kind of provoke arguments over meaningless things it's it will be futile and only is going to drain the energies of both of you now instead if whatever you are about to confront each other over it's rather unsubstantial and meaningless just you know wave your hand over it and move on the other card here it is what is gonna hurt your long-term goal and that is the ten of pentacles now the ten of pentacles in regards to relationship it could refer to a couple of things now one of the thing it is about a kind of like touches the topic of reconciliation and i mean that uh, I believe that whomever comes around have changed. They may have changed, but not to the to the extent that you need them to change in order to give them a second go. So here, the Ten of Pentacles urges you to trust your healthy sense of mistrust first and foremost another thing it is something that's kind of like reminds me of myself and that is the standpoint of that i don't need anybody okay because that's it's how i am right now but um eventually you know you we as an individuals we have to mate with someone or rather like we have to be with someone and the earlier um, you kind of like uh, realize that the better so this is what is gonna hurt your long-term goal thinking that you don't need anybody around and the final uh, card it is about uh, the guidance that tarot is offering here we do have the five of cups for you taurus and that card points that uh once again it touches the subject of the sun card here and it's it kind of says that uh usually you know how can i describe it the most beautiful things fall are, are falling from the most silly shenanigans and that's why whatever you're arguing over an unsubstantial thing, you have to wave your hand. Um, you have to wave your hand over it and just move on. Here, the Five of Cups points that there are disappointments into one relationship. There are always um, such, you know, it's a relationship. It's like a roller coaster. You do have, uh, it, it does have its downs, but it does have its ups as well. And uh, it does have its rock bottoms but it does have its higher summits and therefore uh, should you move along with it you have to be ready to face both but this card here as a guidance point uh, that you and not just only you but whatever relationship you are in right now or whatever relationship you are to make right now can handle it it definitely can as long as you don't deviate from the path that you have chosen or you do not give up the hope from the person from the person that you placed it in the first place so that being said Taurus this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, in case you do want to get in touch with me you can check the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can either um, purchase a reading with me personal one or just get in touch with me uh, and uh, yeah, that was your reading and we're going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.